Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Name WeatherAid's most accurate forecast since 2008. Well, good morning. It's not quite as chilly of a start as you're stepping outside with temperatures that are in the 20s and 30s and compare that to the teens in the single digits of the last couple of mornings. So a little bit better today. No frost on the car, so the morning commute looking pretty good. Pottsville 29, Sealands Grove at 31. Wilkes-Barre Scranton 29, Mount Pocono at 24. So a little better than this time yesterday, like I just said, but something that has changed is the wind has started to pick back up. So that's making it feel more like it's in the upper teens, the lower 20s, but even in the single digits in some of the higher elevations. And all day today, that wind picking up is something that we're going to continue to notice. Now, it's not going to be extremely gusty, but it's certainly going to kick in that wind chill at times through this afternoon. Now, there's nothing on radar, no rain, no snow, so the morning commute is looking pretty good. And all day today, it's really just going to stay mainly dry, though a couple of flurries or a brief snow shower, very isolated is something that can't be ruled out. Temperature into the lower, mid, and the upper 30s, so we'll have a good wide range in that as we go through the day today, and that'll really be elevation-based going into this afternoon. And a lot of us are going to be pretty seasonal for this time of year, if not just right above average. As that cold front goes through today, that's what helps gives us a snow shower, but remember, that's going to be pretty isolated for the most part. And as we go through tonight and tomorrow, an area of high pressure settles in very briefly, but it's here just enough to break up the cloud cover and give us a little sunshine for the first part of the day tomorrow. Then the clouds will increase tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. This clipper system comes through and that does bring us some snow. That snow is mainly going to end up accumulating through the overnight hours on Thursday and notice by Friday morning, it really does start to push out of here for the most part, really other than a lingering snow shower the remainder of the day on Friday. So here's the timing for our first little system that's coming through. That snow is going to start between 7 and 10 o'clock. Then sometime Friday morning, it's going to end. We'll just have a couple of lingering snow showers around through the morning. Totals will generally be about one to three inches. However, in some of those higher elevations, we could end up seeing a little bit more through Friday morning. So for the morning commute on Friday, we'll want to watch for some minor impacts of that. Then there's the second storm system, the bigger one that's coming for this weekend and a track of this area of low pressure. That storm system is going to be key. We'll have all of this moisture and all of that cold air up in Canada that's going to be trying to meet in our area. And depending on the track of this storm is going to make all the difference for what we're going to end up seeing with a little bit more of a southerly track. That cold Arctic air can drop a little bit farther to the south, so that would mean more snowfall for us. But with a little bit more of a northerly track, that cold air can't drop quite as far south, so that would give us more of a mixed precipitation situation, and we still have a lot of disagreement on this track, so there's still uncertainty that you'll want to keep checking back for updates on, but we also have a couple of days to go. 38 for the high today in the eyewitness weather forecast. Windy, chilly, mostly cloudy, isolated snow shower, or just a couple of flurries. 18 tonight, 30 tomorrow, and then the snow comes Thursday night into Friday. Second storm system is here this weekend. Obviously, that will be out of here by late Sunday. 26 with the temperature falling all day Sunday afternoon, and then it's bitterly cold Monday and really into Tuesday as well. And you can always download the Eyewitness Weather app for your latest updates on the weather. Forecast is always available for you at pahomepage.com. So the one thing to remember here is that this is two separate storm system. So don't let this one Thursday and Friday kind of slide under the rug without realizing that, you know, it might only be a couple of inches, but some slick mm -hmm. spots will be in the cards for Friday morning. And then the bigger one this weekend, there's still a lot of uncertainty. So you just have to keep checking back. Okay, just the timing of Friday yes. morning too during the commute. So yeah. definitely we'll take this thing one step at a time yes. out there. And you'll just, you know, give us the updates when we need them. Yep. Yeah, All right. thanks, Stephanie. Thank you. A